Hi, this is Ty Hyderali. Well, some very exciting news to report on the New York front with regard to changes to the whistleblower statute. So uh, Kathy Hochul is making some big changes in New York as the new governor. And one of the new changes she's made is significantly expanding the whistleblower protections to New Yorkers. Uh, so it's Senate Bill 4394 that should go into effect January 22nd of next year. And in essence, what this bill does, so the way it used to work is the whistleblower statute in New York was this very constrained statute that really applied to the area of public health and was really confined uh, to that area. That if people had complaints about public health concerns and they blew the whistle and were retaliated, the law protected them. That was pretty much it. Uh, under the New York statutes. Of course, there's other statutes like Sarbanes-Oxley, etc., that pertain to financial whistleblowers. But now New York has kind of joined uh, the fray with other states that, per, per, that gives more robust protections to whistleblowers. And what are some of those protections? Well, number one, now uh, any person who basically uh, reasonably believes that, a, that there's a violation of some law or regulation or something that poses a significant harm to uh, public health or safety and blows the whistle about that, you're protected. So it really expands the scope of whistleblower to bring it in line with states like New Jersey and other progressive states that really say, if you bring a whistleblowing activity to the attention of the employee, meaning you complain about some illegal, immoral, and ethical act, some violation, some law regulation, you're protected. Um, and it expands the definition of what's considered an adverse employment action. So uh, to break this down most simply, uh, under the law, you have to have, first of all, the whistleblowing activity, and then you have to have some retaliatory act that comes next, which is known as the adverse employment action. And before the adverse employment action was really a termination. Now that's expanded to a, a demotion, a suspension, uh, post-employment activity, threatening to take action with regard to disclosing the person's immigration status uh, to the United States immigration authorities, etc. So it's really broad in the scope of um, activities the employer can engage in that gives the employee a cause of action. Uh, some other great uh, changes to the law. Uh, now it doesn't apply only to employees. It imply, applies to independent contractors as well as former employees. Uh, so those people too have protections under the new whistleblower statute. Expands the statute of limitations from one year to two years. Uh, gives people punitive damages as a uh, possible remedy. Uh, and then there's some other changes as well. Overall, a significant change to the whistleblower statute in New York to give robust protect protections to employees. This is Ty Hyderali. We concentrate in the, in the area of employment law in New York and New Jersey. Be safe and be well.